Mel, Mr. Muhyiddin has finally admitted defeat. What happens next? Well, 74-year-old Muhyiddin Yassin, who is now a caretaker of Prime Minister, said he has acted in accordance with the federal constitution to tender his resignation because he has lost the legitimacy. There is no need anymore to table a confidence vote in Parliament in September, as he promised at first, as it's obvious now that he has lost his slim majority from MPs. And after his last-ditch effort to reach out to them for bipartisan cooperation has failed now, in a national address made here at the Prime Minister's office, Mr. Muhyiddin stressed that he had wanted to stay on at first to tackle the pandemic and nurse the economy back to health. But it was spoiled by those self-serving MPs. Now, six years ago, he said he was fired as Deputy Prime Minister for openly criticising Mr. Najib over the 1MD scam scandals. Now, he has fought on with his struggles. He won't work with the kleptocrats. He said he will not compromise or seek to their demands. He stayed true to, his, to that. Now, he apologised for his shortcomings of his administration. Now, the next two months, he said, will be crucial as Malaysia strives to achieve herd immunity by making sure that all the adult population vaccinated by October. Now, to that end, he assured the people that his government has ordered enough vaccines. Some one billion US dollars of vaccine has been bought. Lastly, he hopes that the new government will look after the people's welfare. Now, remember, according to the statement issued by the palace just a while ago, before Mr. Muhyiddin goes on national address, the king has accepted his resignation, along with the entire cabinet of 70-odd ministers and deputies. The king, Sultan Abdullah Ahmad Shah, said he has agreed for Mr. Muhyiddin to stay on as a caretaker prime minister until a new prime minister is appointed. Now, under the country's federal constitution, the king can appoint any MPs whom he thinks is likely to command confidence of majority MPs in the uh, House. Now, judging from President Dr. Mahathir, when he, was stepped, when he stepped down in February 2020, the, he was interim prime minister for about a week before the king could decide next who's the eighth prime minister. So the quest to decide who should be the country's ninth prime minister once again falls on the shoulder of the king. It's unclear how long he will take this time around. Right now, the race to Putrajaya has just started again just as the country is about to celebrate National Day on August 31st.